Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and here I have a lovely math question for you. Now, I'm not even going to describe the math question because you can kind of see it right here, but, well, I'll describe it a little bit. We have these kind of vertical bars around all this kind of fraction stuff going on. So what does this mean? Okay, well, hopefully you know what this means. As a matter of fact, if you know exactly what this means and you can get the right answer, we'll go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show the correct uh, answer in just one second, and then we're going to talk about exactly what this means and uh, more specifically, exactly how to solve this problem. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so um, let me just show you the answer and then I'll kind of get into what this problem is about. But if you're taking, um, let's say, at least a middle school mathematics, so if maybe for those of you out there that are like in the fifth grade, if any of you out there are still like in elementary school, you may not have seen this. But once you get into middle school, for sure, like the sixth grade and beyond, you should know exactly what these little bars mean. But uh, let's go and take a look at the answer. The answer is five-fourths. Okay, so that is the correct answer. How did you do? Well, if you got this right, let's give you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a few stars, so you can tell your friends and family that you figured out this particular uh, math problem that has to deal with absolute value. Okay, so we're talking about absolute value. That is the topic. So let's go ahead and get into um, how to do this problem, and then we'll just do a quick review on what it means uh, what absolute value means. Now, this isn't going to be a full lesson on absolute value, but if you need a full lesson on uh, this level of mathematics, obviously absolute value and beyond, uh, I would recommend checking out like my pre-algebra course. Okay, I teach, or algebra one course, I teach um, a ton of stuff about absolute value, absolute value equations, inequalities, et cetera, et cetera. But what we're going to be focusing on here is the definition of absolute value, but we're first going to figure out how to do this problem. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you exactly what the absolute value is just one second. You know, or in one second I will, but right now I'm just going to just tell you how to get the right answer. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take care of these fractions right here. So we have negative 3 over 8 minus 7 eighths. Uh, we're going to have to simplify this, so hopefully you have strong fraction skills. This is actually quite easy. So we can subtract these fractions because they have the same denominator. Okay, so we'll have that one denominator, eight. So we're just going to simply subtract the numerator. So that'll be negative three minus seven. So that's going to be our numerator. So negative three minus seven is negative 10. That's uh, going to be negative 10 over eight. And of course, negative 10 over eight, we can reduce to the fraction negative five over four. Now, if you're like well, you're a little bit rusty on fractions as well, well, you need to be great at fractions at this level of mathematics. So again, for those of you that need some assistance with this, I would just directly point you towards my pre-algebra course. I have a full chapter on fractions, teach you everything you need to know. Also, I have a ton of video on all these topics on my YouTube channel as well. Okay, so... When we subtracted these two fractions, we got negative 10 over 8, but really when we reduce that down, we have negative 5 over 4. All right, so what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what this means. So here we have the absolute value of negative 3 eighths minus 7 eighths. We know that is equal to negative 5 over 4. So the equivalent problem is the absolute value of negative 5 over 4. Okay, that's what our problem is really. Uh, uh, you know, kind of distilled down to, and the answer is a positive five fourths. All right, so that is the answer. Now, here is where a lot of students kind of get confused. They think that they're like, okay, if you give me the absolute value of negative seven, oh, that's going to be positive seven, right? Or the absolute value of a four, uh, positive four, that is going to be four. So uh, most students can get these problems correct, but they're, um, they kind of have a false uh, understanding of what absolute value means, okay? For, you know, in a very simplistic way, you might be saying to yourself, well, if the absolute value of four, positive four is four, and the absolute value, let's say, of negative four, if you run across that question, you're like, oh, I'm going to answer that as four. But a lot of students say, oh, the absolute value means just, you know, uh, the positive 
version of any number that you're dealing with, right? So it's like whatever number this is, just write the positive of it. You know, so this is negative four, just write the positive of it. And that is how you get the right answer. And in fact, basically, that is what you need to do. And that is why you would get the right answer if this is kind of your level of understanding about absolute value. But we want to kind of uh, take this a step further because I can assure you as a math teacher that's been teaching for decades, your teacher will kind of ask you some questions uh, that are, is related to the definition of, of absolute value. So why is this the case? Uh, why is it that when we have a problem like this, we have the absolute value of negative 2, the answer is 2, and then the absolute value of positive 2, the answer is 2. Why is that the case? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the definition of absolute value. Now, this is going to be a real, real quick review, but the definition of absolute value is the distance a number is from zero on the number line. Okay, so let's take a look at these two numbers, negative two. So here's negative two right there, and here is a positive two. So when you're taking the absolute value of a number, just kind of think of, uh, of, you know, of somebody saying, hey, go get a tape measure and uh, measure from zero to negative two that distance. So let's start off with uh, two here, okay? So let's take the distance. We're finding the distance of two from zero on the number line. So, okay, what is the distance? Well, distance is always measured in positive units, okay? If you if you tell your friends, oh, I live five miles away, you don't say I live negative five miles away, right? When you measure, you know, like the uh, windows or floors in your house, or if you're kind of like trying to figure out the dimensions of a room, you're not using negative uh, numbers. Now, there is a time and a place where you can have negative values associated with uh, uh, distances and whatnot, but not in this case. So simplistically thinking, the distance is always positive, all right? So from zero to two, if we went on our tape measure, maybe that's like two inches away, right? So you're like, okay, I'll just go ahead and measure this out. One, that's two units away from zero. That's two, okay? So uh, two is two units away from zero. All right, how about negative two? Well, if you look here, it's the same distance, right? So from here to here, it's the same distance. So this is two units away from zero and negative two is also two units away from zero. So negative two, again, right here is two units away from zero. So that is the definition of absolute value. That's what you really need to kind of uh, understand. And now you know why when you take the absolute value of a negative number, it is positive, okay? All right, so hopefully this kind of cleared up any confusion that you might have on absolute value. Now, absolute value is a big topic and algebra and mathematics. This is only kind of scratching the surface. So again, if you need additional help on this stuff, check out either my pre-algebra course or my Algebra 1 course if you're at that level as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.